643 on your Tuesday morning from train master to trail master. Veteran Earl Southard has had several titles throughout his life and while always maintaining the notion of putting people first. Now, Southard has the attitude has helped his business, Trail Master Holsters, gain popularity around the country and around the world. MTN's Keeley Van Middendorp reports in this week's Montana Made. Outdoors has, has been as much my DNA as, as eating or anything else. Nature and exploration are behind Earl Southard's business, Trailmaster yeah, Holsters. That's each of my products is designed by me, cut out of the leather by hand by me, hand stamped by me. Southard says his custom leather holsters were born out of a need to stay safe in the wilderness. They're designed to carry a small rifle while allowing the consumer to carry a fully packed backpack. Since I'm deathly allergic to horses, if I sit on a horse and my eyes fall shut, uh, you know, that's not very good in the backwoods either. So I've always been into backpacking and uh, uh, that's kind of my thing. Southard has logged over 1,500 miles on foot exploring in the Bob Marshall Wilderness Complex, often taking friends and colleagues who gave him the nickname Trailmaster for the many adventures over the past 20 years. His experiences in the Bob Marshall now serve as a quality standard each time he creates a product. You cannot have gear failure in the Bob Marshall when you're 25 miles from a road. Um, so they're built with that in mind. Trailmaster Holster's business logo, a compass rose, highlights Southard's passion for exploration along with his service to our country. That's what it represents is integrity because no matter which way the world turns, north is always north, true is always true. So that's kind of the guiding principle for my business is integrity. Not to mention that the first core value of the Air Force is integrity first. Over his 24-year career in the U.S. Air Force, Southard served around the world before retiring as first sergeant in 2006 and making his return to the Treasure State. Throughout his military career and time after as a BNSF train master, Southard says people were his business. He says this continues to be true for Trailmaster Holsters. It seems like every, every customer that calls me, we have like a relationship. I, have, I meet the nicest people around. Uh, and actually, that's actually primary to actually building them a quality holster. Southard purchases all of his products from Montana vendors and believes the best customer service comes from the Treasure State. I don't think outside of maybe a tool, I've never ever went out of Montana uh, for any of the raw products I use to make my finished products with. His holsters have shipped everywhere, including Australia, Switzerland, Norway, and Argentina. You know, that just blows my mind because... Argentina is the capital of the cowboy world. I mean that, if you think cowboy, Argentina is the new wild, wild west. So yeah, that was, uh, I consider that a compliment. I really do, that's kind of a proud moment. Southard says his explorations will continue to test the durability of his products and hopes customers get a chance to take his holsters out for an adventure of their own. Every time I've been in there, it's been a trip of a lifetime. Every one. If you only got to take one, I'd recommend everybody get into the Bob Marshall, on horse or foot, whatever. Keely Van Middendorp, MTN News, near Fairfield. Oh, what an awesome deal there. Trailmaster Holsters, by the way, make leather holsters for a limited number of firearms. For more information uh, on that Montana Made business, just simply head over to our websites. Pretty cool stuff. What an interesting man. Yep, designed out of a necessity. I love that. That's love how it. a lot of great businesses take off. So. And hey, you're allergic to horse? Figure out the best way to get back out there. Absolutely true. Love it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of getting back out there. Yeah, I'm boy. not sure he's still out there. We, the, the last I saw part of him go flying by. Man, how's yeah. the wind, buddy? Uh, it's